If I were to have asked you what was the creepiest show you watched whilst growing up, what would you have said? Mine would have to be my little Mine would have to be Grizzly Tales, a series of fictional scary tales that shows the most obnoxious and insufferable characters getting their just desserts in the grizzliest ways possible. And in a weird sense, kind of gives a feeling of satisfaction amongst the viewer. However, Grizzly Tales maybe wasn't exactly meant for gruesome kids, despite its very family-friendly rating of you. So let's get into it. Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids is a British animated horror comedy which aired from 2000 all the way up to 2006, making it one of the longest running shows in CRTV's history. The main premise of the show was that we would focus on a child who has the most obnoxious traits known to man. This could be anything from being rude, to being greedy, to being overweight, to interrupting people, etc, etc. For example, in one episode we follow a kid named Simon who spends all of his days sulking. I hate it more than I hate you. All of you. I don't want a swelling new uniform, I don't want to go to a punky new school and I don't want to move house, so I won't. He then ends up getting eaten by a bunch of trolls. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Despite being broadcast on CITV, the show was definitely underrated, or should I say under age rated, with the show garnering the strangely low classification of U upon its release in 2000. However, at least we should be lucky that the show wasn't as mature as today's cartoons. So let's get into the actual episode. The episode Simon's Talk begins with Simon's parents explaining to him that they have an early start the next morning as they're moving house. No more television. We've got an early start tomorrow. Don't want to leave. <laughs> and it's become very clear that Simon is not very happy about moving to Devon. That's like fucking six hours away from London. Much to his parents' annoyance, Simon then goes to lock himself in his room like all idiotic teenagers do. Barricade himself into his room until he did. To try and get through to him, his parents endlessly bang on the door only to figure out that Simon stopped listening ages ago. La 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 can't hear you. Simon's mum then tries to take him uniform shopping and that goes just as well as you might expect. I want a smelly new uniform, I don't want to go to a punky new school and I don't want to move house, so I won't. And when he got home, Simon locked himself into his bedroom. You'll never see me again! I hope I die in here! Then you'll be sorry! Are you awake yet, Simon? He was. But he wasn't getting up to move house. Simon's mother then tries to get Simon out of bed by using the good old can't you hear how sad I am trick. I'm having a lie-in! Come on, precious. You're not still angry with mummy, are you? It's a beautiful day. The nice removals men will be here soon. Good. Then perhaps they'll remove you. Oh. Once the removal men have finished packing all the stuff up from the house, it's only then that Simon's parents realise that they've left him in the house. We're not really leaving him, are we? He's only ten. Of course not. We're going to pop in here for a cup of tea, then go back and get him. He'll be downstairs having his breakfast by then, you'll see. Simon's parents then return home from the cafe only to find out that Simon's still locked in his room. And floorboards creak in the hall. His parents were pathetic, so transparent. I told you I wasn't coming out. Simon's parents then try to dupe him, saying that there are wolves behind them and that he has to let them in, otherwise they'll both be killed. Puss, let us in! Save you from what? The wolves! Sobbed his mother. The wolves are behind us! Their hot breath is on our backs! However, it didn't take very long for Simon to call his parents bluff. In the name of God, save us before we're both killed! Simon was unsure what to do. What if his parents were telling the truth? This is your mother and father, Simon! Let us in! Actually, no, that didn't happen. Simon was being a gullible prick and eventually ended up letting his parents into the bedroom. Ha ha, very funny. Take a gold star. You've tricked me and now we're going to Devon. However, now Simon's finally realised that the people behind that door weren't actually his parents at all. What do you want? A new home. 
and that is where the episode ends. I feel like this show was originally planned for a more mature audience, but then switched to CITV in the long run. I only think this because the show's dark and mature nature wouldn't necessarily be allowed in today's times. Mature or not, I definitely had a lot of sleepless nights after watching this show. Whether the show was scary or not, it still holds a place in a lot of people's hearts. We thank you, Grizzly Tales.